Uh, <coughs> I'm clearing my throat. So I've got three microphones here. I'm gonna unbox this one, the CID Audio. They always have weird numbers. This is the CID Audio U37 USB. So I got this USB microphone. I got this CID E. Is that two zeros? Is it a hundred or is it ten OS? Looks weird. Either E100S or ten OS, and that's a CID. And I got the Audio Technica AT2020, which we'll use as a benchmark. Even though we're going to use the microphone from my GoPro, because I have to record all these, and then I'm just going to read random facts about I don't know pigeons or something. So let's get them at least all ready to go. Um, the, the CID is already set up. Uh, I did an unboxing with, with uh, Digital DJ Gear for that. So let's do one for this. Before we jump in, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for more videos from us here at digitaldjgear.com. Oh, I unpacked it so quickly. We're good, we're good to go. I'm blinking twice to say I'm okay. You know, my granddaddy was a die cutter, so this whole like pattern here would be something he would have to design and then cut out so they could fold in place. I just like pointing out the fact that that's what a die cutter does. We shouldn't need software for this. If it needs software, it's already getting a bad review. But I like my I like microphone reviews and I don't like microphone reviews. Number one, it takes a lot of editing, but I'm not doing the editing. That guy's doing the editing, so fuck it. Um, but number two is. I just have to talk into it. And we have a very noisy air conditioning intake there and it's gonna be 90 degrees today. So it's probably gonna be there for the, the whole video. And people who live at home tend to have noisy environments. So that'll be fine because that'll be realistic. Are you kidding me? It's a USB mini. So this might be a slightly outdated model, but we're gonna see if it sucks or not. And the reason I did the unbox, oh God, it did that thing that this table does because this table does that thing. Did you know that table had a, the ability to bend, I did too. I'll tighten it a little bit. There we go. Thank God it wasn't something really expensive. So bags, these are great for the ocean. Fish eat them all the time. Um, we've got some sort of ring hook mount for a thing. It's actually all metal. No, actually this is metal. This is plastic or is it aluminum? This is plastic and then there's another aluminum ring. So they've gone from metal to plastic to metal again. It's actually quite nice. Um, we do have a tripod, which is confusing me. Hold on, I got this. I'm, a, I'm an engineer, I'm an engineer, I gotta have this. Oh God, that's so tight. Eh. Okay, maybe this just flips around. Wait, oh, okay, all right. Is that it? That's the weirdest. It's got the big donger in front. So you have two little dongers and one big donger. And here's what that attaches to. So then this has to attach to this. So you got a, that isn't even a quarter 20. It probably has a quarter 20 somewhere internally. But here we have this one. I'm being, am I drunk? Hey, am I drunk? You did drink some at the snapple. I did. I had a Snapple Fruit Punch in the back of my car that was open. I'm like, I must have opened this one like two days ago or yesterday. Nope. That shit was wine. Snapple wine. So that will sit like that, which should be the correct way it sits. And then I can rotate this around to use the, th the thick, the thick boy. Or not. So let's put that there. I, I, you could actually, this is fine as long as you can put waifus on it. That's fine. As long as it has a purpose. Crack that open. Uh, big switches, flat or drop the base, and then zero or negative 10, depending on how sensitive your thing is. That's the plastic is feeling metal that I've ever seen, but it is metal. The U37, isn't U37 like the Neumann $5,000 microphone that everyone loves? Isn't that the thing? I'm pretty sure that's the delineation. So this should just go, wait, oh. All right, they want you to unscrew the nut. I want you to unnut this and then put this in here and then re-nut it. I'm pretty sure. I, I said I was pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure. No, this should be more. There should be more go here. Unless I'm cross-threading it. No, there it is. It's going. I got it. I smart. Mm, tight. Like a tiger. So now we just have USB plug. 
you kind of got to deal with this USB cable on your own terms, which I guess if it was micro or mini, I'd take mini, because micros always break. They just always break. Oh, that's the official waifu of all the reviews I've made on, on the move. Ooh. KRK monitor is also available. Holy shit, that blue LED. Ah, trash can. All right. Do I have blue tack on my personage? Oh, there's some like old tape here. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. We got this. I'm, I'm good. I got this. I'm gonna fix that because I was gonna just spit on it the entire thing. Look, there you go. It's still a blue LED, but it's not a flashlight. I feel much better about myself. So now what I'm gonna do is we already have this one hooked up to a Scarlet Solo over there, Focusrite Scarlet Solo. So I'm gonna open up Audacity and I'm gonna hit record. And this should be working right now, which it is. I have to slide a little closer because that arm is trying real hard to get to me and it's doing a decent job. Now that noise is still happening, but now you should be hearing me on the CAD, which I have the level set just before clap just before clip and um i want what should i say what should i say because i gotta be consistent in my voice and like what i'm saying and what i mean and let's talk about love and life and you know the the the, the absolute state of the entire world's economic system and how i think that it could be improved very simply with some green drink and healthy living and that'll be what we're going to look at now Okay, so now that I've done that, this is this is definitely the CAD E10 OS, and I'll be quiet for a second. Actually, does an amazing job mitigating that that entry level thing. I'm gonna switch to negative 10 dB, which should just make me much quieter, and did a little 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 dibbity doop, little dibbity doop doop doop. Didn't make me as quiet as I thought it would. And now we're back to zero and now i'm going to take the high pass filter i'm going to drop out the bass so now i should sound like um i don't know a lame version of zeos the kind of zeos who doesn't get chicks at bars like really high pitched but you know you know just just drop it out if you have a lot of rumbling in your background if you just brr, then you won't have that once you switch that little switch so all right back to the normal flat full full bodied zeos and now i'm going to shut off the 48 volt here I'm going to take the Audio Technica. Now we're back on the GoPro mic. Go back in the GoPro. Did you switch it back to the GoPro audio? Yeah. In the future? Yeah. He's, he's paying attention. Obviously. He doesn't understand how Zeos works. I talk to myself in the future from the past. So now I can unplug that, plug in the Audio Technica, which will be our like reference point mic, which is probably going to need a different thing. All right. Nanner, 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 nanner. Nanner, nanner, nanner. I'm gonna do a little more game. Nanner, nanner, nanner. I can't actually look at the same thing. So now I'm on the Audio Technica mic, the uh, AT2020. Clipping, uh, clipping or just a little bit of yellow? A little bit of yellow is fine. Who doesn't like a little bit of yellow? I'm more looking at the, what the graphs are doing here because that thing shouldn't be telling me it's clipping, but it, it occasionally does. So when I back to fixing the polar bear massacres in Antarctica. What I think we need to do is sell them AK-47s because they're a very simple gun. You can maintain them. They're really good in the cold. Um, so I think the polar bears will be able to defend themselves quite well with uh, that sort of firepower in their hands. Um, and also, we can probably get a couple of our, you know, South American contacts. Just bring them to them. Be nice and easy. Nice and easy. Anything else? Uh, cookies, breadcrumbs. I'm trying to think about things I need to buy when I get home. I actually always have breadcrumbs, always have too many breadcrumbs. So yeah, no. So now this has been the Audio Technica AT2020, which I'm about the same hand distance away as I was for the that. We're in the same sort of environment. We got a carpeted desk. So now we gotta move on to this guy, which unfortunately is gonna involve me plugging it into the computer because it's USB. And uh, we'll see how that goes. There's no switches on this to change for dropping the bass or anything. I don't believe, because it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, do that. I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to actually save it because God knows if I don't. 
export as wave to downloads and I'll just call it Mike Mike I'm calling it Mike M-I-K-E Mike that's how you spell Mike right that's how you spell it and then we're gonna go and plug this in actually this is plugged in this is already plugged in we just need to switch it to if it's there please be there please be there I don't think it's there no I don't want to say the project so now that I've plugged this in because I unboxed it while this was all going, now I can relaunch Audacity. This is how this is how the world works, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's just a, a long series of absolute failures. I like these things though, the acoustic shield. Do you have any of these in stock? Yeah, we do. Those things are cool. I mean, yes. Okay, just go, go get a, a, one of those things there. This is super convenient. This is like living at an Amazon warehouse. Sweet. Well, I'm still going to get it going. Warning. Should, I probably should have read this before anything. The use of this product exposes you to BPA. BPA is known in the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. Reproductive harm. I always yell reproductive harm at people walking by. So, yeah, I touched this. So now I have uh, birth defects. That was fast. We're going to unbox this. Actually, I'm, what I'm going to do is, before I unbox that, let's get this actually recording. And then I'll wrap it around it and we'll see if that helps. So what's going on with the ambient situation here. So now we want the microphone. Boom, there it is, microphone. The a a AGC was on and the levels was at 88. So I'm gonna take it to 100 with AGC off. I'm not actually monitoring, so I can't tell you 100%. 100% uh, might actually be, it doesn't seem like it's, it's not pushing up to one gain, but it is still flashing a lot. Like constantly. Is this was a constantly flash? I mean, I'm at negative 10, so I'm going to switch it to zero. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Do you want to pair of headphones? No, I'm just going to lower this down to 60. My thing is, it's flashing, and it's definitely not clipping anymore. There's not even any sound going into it. So let's try killing the bass. Kill the bass. Kill that bass, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Back to 80. This is the first time we're hooking it up, so it's like you got to learn through baby steps. So we're at zero again and base off. Now it's in base back on, neutral flat. And let's put it back to negative 10. That is a consistent, annoying blink. I'm sure it will be fine once I work out what the hell it wants for me. Hello. My name is Mr. Funk. I like to dance inside your brains with my baseball bat. I'm not even that close to it either, so I should be like roughly here to be the same distance. So I think this is usable audio now. I'm pretty sure this is usable audio. That's the only concern I have, and I don't know how to fix it. Maybe I should read the manual or something. Maybe it's the cancer warning. It's like telling me to read it again and again. What do you say? Thank you for purchasing. High quality microphone. Let's see if it says it blinks when it's like clipping, because there's nothing happening right now that causes this clip. There were no additional drivers needed. Good. Good. Blue LED elements on. Flashes indicate in recording mode. Oh, it's for flashing to indicate it's recording. With the brightest blue LED I've ever seen on a device. How's that? How do you like your eyes? Sorry. You literally have these two giant LED stands. And that's so much worse. I'm going to double up the, the tape over it now. I'm just going to... I'm just going to get more tape. That's just more tape. I'm just going to get more tape. There we go. Okay. I feel better now. Now, so yeah, you're going to need to buy some tape. Links to tape. The digital DJ gear will sell you some, um, you have gaffer's tape, right? There you go. They a bundle now. Yep. Bundle this with some gaffer's tape. All right, so now let's open this up because this could help us in multiple ways. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Actually, what model is this? This is the Acoustic Shield AS10. That's adorable. And I dropped something on the floor, probably very important. And I could probably get it with my foot. Oh, no, I can't. Welcome to Z Reviews, everybody. If you want more of this content, feel free to follow me on my channel. So here's all this is, and it's super convenient. Metal backing holes, foam, aggressive, 
bendy, bendy, bendy. And then this gets attached, and then this gets here, and you put the microphone on this. Which I think we can actually do. Wait, does that go this way or this way? That goes this way. I think. No, wait, that's a cap. So actually, I'm just going to handhold this and not try to mount it. So we're currently rocking this one. And I'm just going to go like this. And we're going to see if this helps. Now that this is in place of where it should be when you're using a microphone, is this doing good things? Is it blocking the echo? If I pointed it straight up, if I did like that, I'll put it this way, it might actually prevent the sound from above from bothering us. I don't know. You guys are going to tell me. I'm not monitoring this directly. This is just, this is all just what goes. What goes around comes around. And I mean, it's almost impossible to build one of these for less than they sell them for. So there, that's that's free. That's free mode. And that's 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 covered mode. And that's even more covered mode. So all right, I'm gonna stop this. Switch this back to the scarlet. And this didn't switch back to the scarlet, but I think I have to stop this. And then I can hit record again if I do... Actually, I save that. Hold on, file. Uh, export as wave. And this is going to be mic 2. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, look, it stopped blinking. Because we're not recording with it anymore. So does that mean like... Dis oh, I'm going to open Discord. Hold on. I'm going to open my Discord. Which my No, you know what? My Discord won't connect to the internet because I'm not another thing plugged in. But that would be mildly, mildly annoying and infuriating, and mostly infuriating if that's what actually happens. So we'll just assume it's not. And I was going to go back and put these on these other ones, but I feel like trying to mount it to either one of these is going to require more effort. And also, this has too much weight to just add to this. You would have to do something like, actually, what you would do, scoozy. That's the limit of my fake Italian as I say scoozy. If you do this, put that down and then you do this look at that I love how microphone things are all the same and then you could move this because it's a long screw there we go so now you've got a freestanding structure and then you could just lift turn your mic and then rest it like that and there you go and that's how I would run it personally because the way you can just like take this off your desk you're not doing pro pro recordings you can either have it try to float it, which would need a bigger arm than this, or you could just have it float on a separate little microphone stand, which would be fine, which would be fine. Um, that saved his mic too. I'll give one more, one more little baby recording with the Scarlet, just to piss him off. So now we've got the AT2020 with the little, little cozy acoustic shield. So now this could be what you sound like, minus the goddamn air conditioner screaming from above us. So anyway, that was interesting. This is probably the best microphone review I've ever done because um, I don't have to edit it. <laughs> Did you get that good? It was a good ha-ha? It was a good ha-ha. Anyway, I'm out. I'm Zeus. Don't drink Snapple from the back of your car. It's been sitting in the sun for apparently a week. It must have been a week. It must have been a fucking week. It would have turned into wine if it wasn't a week. It was bubbly. Um, yeah, and uh, thanks to Digital DJ Gear for letting me play with their stuff. And I might just go to the warehouse and just grab some more stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm going to stop this and stop this. And then we're going to stop all this. And then we're going to eat. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear and Musically Yours. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you. And check out these other videos we think you'll like. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ, and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Until next time, I'm Sam from DigitalDJGear.com and Musical.ly Yours. Thanks for watching.